YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here after you hit the subscribe button. If you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to my secondary YouTube channel, Tony Harvin Network. I greet everybody upon this afternoon, evening. This here is Regular Conversations, number 25. We up to number 25 with these regular conversations. So we're here to talk about the message uh, that happened today. You know, when Gina was out there in Richmond, um, Virginia, y'all know my disclaimer. I'm not a pastor preacher. I don't hold any type of office in the church. So please do not lay claims of those titles on me. I'm not here to violate any type of community guidelines, any type of copyright infringement. Shout out to everybody in the chat room. Shout out to everybody in the chat room for sure. You know, those who want to catch this on the live right now, those who catch it in the middle, and those who catch it, you know, after this live is over. I definitely appreciate everybody for coming on here, the new subscribers and, you know, the new members uh, checking out this YouTube channel, signing up to it and whatnot. Definitely appreciate it. So we broadcast uh, the Truth of God message from today um, on my primary YouTube channel, Tony Harvin. And it was also broadcasting on ChristianMedia.com um, and uh, Truth of God, First Truth of Our Lord Jesus Christ YouTube channel. All right, let me shout out everybody. What's up to Joyce? Courtney. What's up to Henry Ross? Shout out to you. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? What's up to Mary? No problem. What's up to um, Nicole Martin? Shout out to you. What's up to uh, Water Blood Spirit? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, who else? What's up to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what's up to Heat? Shout out to you. Uh, what's up to um, Solomon? He says, today's service was spectacular. Absolutely. I definitely um, agree with that for sure. You know, um, it's quite interesting. You know, when he always talk about how a uh, a baby that's born dead is better than us and i believe i put a video out uh some time back of him breaking that down just a little bit more you know what i mean it really it really opens your eyes to life itself you know when he was explaining that you know a dead baby you know it's, it's more be better and precious than a lot of us living and whatnot if not all i can't really remember the, uh, the exact words and what have you you know, so that was very deep right there. Let me go down the list again. Um, what's up to Khadija Reeves, one of the channel moderators, along with Nicole Martin, Christopher Spann, um, Sister Davis. Uh, I don't think Christopher uh, Wright is a moderator, just on the other channel. But I appreciate the support. And thank you for tuning in. And thank you for, your, uh, you know, the work that you do as a moderator and all my moderators out there for both channels and whatnot. You know what I mean? I'm always scanning people out, for sure. Scanning you out to see if you fit to be a moderator, then I may ask a person. If they decline, hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? All right? Um, he says, isn't, it, isn't this wonderful? Absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. It's a great thing to, to listen to the message. It's a great thing. And I'm pretty sure it's a great thing to others. If you have a different type of preacher, whatever the case may be, and he preaching truth. You're going to say the same thing. You know what I mean? You're going to say the same thing about your pastor if he's preaching the truth at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Definitely thankful and grateful that we could listen to uh, the truth of God message while we still got time on the earth and whatnot. You know? You're right. Some Somebody right now is dying. Somebody right now done died probably. You understand? Died without Christ. Yet we still have, have the opportunity to listen to the message. It's a blessing, man. <laughs> Every second is a blessing for sure. You know what I mean? Some people didn't wake up this morning because they died and they sleep. You understand? They done did drugs and they done did the do. Went to sleep and died. I think that happened to Q from World Star, right? That happened to Q from World Star. I believe it might have happened to Big Pun. You know what I mean? These people go to sleep and just wake up. Excuse me, they go to sleep and don't wake up at all. You know what I mean? So when Q from World Star died, huh? <laughs> wow. You understand? Wow. 
a man who created a website a bunch of nonsense and foolishness i know some of the stuff on there we laugh at and whatnot but we know it's wicked the man died in his sleep you understand died right in his sleep imagine that you know you created world star a bunch of foolishness on there a bunch of you know satanic and wicked stuff on there you know what i mean and then you die in your sleep you got all the money you got all the girls you got all the fame and then all of a sudden you catch a heart attack in your sleep or something like that or a cardiac arrest he might have had a something and died in his sleep you know what i mean that's crazy <clears throat> what's up the Jinju? shout out to you uh water blood spirit he says russian uh cruise uh, I'm not I'm not gonna really speak on that type of stuff. I know how YouTube is. You know, they got certain policies and stuff like that that they don't want certain YouTubers to, they don't want YouTubers to talk about. You know what I mean? But stuff like that is in the news. And Gino made a good example. He made a good example about um when he used the N-word, this almost runs parallel to what what I'm talking about right now, as far as like we can't say certain things on YouTube, you know, but if I was a rapper, you understand? If I was signed to Def Jam, you know what I mean? Spitting the high 16, had me a song called Beat Her Up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Had me a song called I Want That Chick, I Want That Chick, you know? Listen, they'll let me say anything on here, you know what I mean? They'll let me put up anything. I know a lot of y'all back in the day watched that Nelly Tip Drill video. You understand a lot of y'all did <laughs> a lot of y'all did for sure you know if i was a rapper mc mc harvin whatever you want to call it <laughs> you understand ribbit the rabbit you know what i mean meow the dog my rap name i can rap about anything on here it don't matter but when you putting out truth when you when you're a youtuber and you putting out you know stuff like this or encouraging things they don't want you to say certain things but in a rap song i think about the rap song with fbg duck man you understand or, or little Nas x they don't say nothing to those folks why because of money it's big money involved all right but the moment a youtuber that has a platform like this you can't talk about that you can't talk about uh politics to a certain extent you can't talk about you know uh, situations like Russia, the Ukraine, C-19, um, the Starburst community, and whatnot. You know, it's crazy. Roy says, I was crying today, man, oh man. She says, troll cast starting now. <laughs> What's up, the classified information? Hope all is well. He says, amen, PJ Shaw put it down as per usual today. For sure, what's up to Gino P? Hope all is well. What's up to Jonah? Shout out to you. What's up to David B? What up? What up? What up? You says uh Jen said you says man oh man, this sermon today hit me from all angles, body shots and head shots. It was like Tyson in a Burbick fight, and I was Burbick. Man, that's some hard hitting right there. You know, um, it's always hard hitting with the truth of God and whatnot. Most definitely, you know, but definitely thankful to hear the message that I that we have an opportunity. You know what I mean? Before it's too late. You understand? Yeah, some people out there, they, you know, they're getting cancer, they're getting all these sicknesses and diseases and whatnot. You know, and they still don't want to turn to, to the Lord. They still don't want to. You know what I mean? They still don't want to. I think we had a troll on here the other night. Uh, Adrian Cutler. Adrian Hellbound Cutler. A troll. And I know of Adrian Cutler. He has a health issue. You understand? Why would you be on YouTube trolling somebody with a health issue? You need to be focused on getting right with the Lord. You understand that? If you got a serious health condition, man, you won't hear trolling and have some type of hatred for somebody you could drop dead right there then what you understand that then what you know so 
Look at uh, Mr. Israel. Made all he made threats to the church. He made threats to uh, Gino, I think. Now look at him. Drop dead from cancer. You understand? <laughs> Drop dead from cancer, just like that. Be careful what you say to people. You know what I mean? Be be very careful what you say to people. It, it, listen, it don't matter if you disagree with them. You know what I mean? E even if they're wrong, if you cursing somebody, if you got some type of hatred for somebody, you better be careful. You know what I mean? So to that troll, a Adrian Hellbound Cutler and his brother, Alonzo going to hell cutler. You understand? You got you got hell bound for the uh for the nickname and going to two brothers, Adrian Cutler and Alonzo Cutler. <laughs> you know what I mean? One brother got a, a health issue, a serious health issue. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I go back to my archives on my other YouTube channel, I could pull a video up and show him that he's a man with health issues and whatnot, because he came on the platform long ago. But we ain't going to do that. We don't downplay people because they have health issues and whatnot. I'm speaking to you man to man. You shouldn't be on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and nothing like that. If you got health issues, you need to be you need to be fighting more and more to get right with God. You utilize that time uh, to try to get right with God every day. You know what I mean? That, that, that little two minutes that you uh, hating on somebody or you trolling somebody on YouTube. That could be your day to die right there. Simple. And I ain't even a preacher. That's common sense right there. That's pure common sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just never know when it's time. Even I don't care if I'm healthy, you know what I'm saying, in shape. You know what I mean? A box, shoe shine them up, left hook, right hand, you know, shine, slip, slip, <laughs> you know, pivot, turn you, drop you, catch you on the ankle lock, guillotine, headlock, something. You know what I mean? Full guard, half guard on the ground. <laughs> you understand? It don't matter. I, I could drop dead at any time. You know? I don't know what's up with these trolls out here, man. They waste their time on hating on the message, hating on the YouTubers. And here it is. A lot, a lot of them are ministers and preachers. I'm just a YouTuber, and I got common sense to know that. Appreciate that at Classified Information. Thank you for the support on this YouTube channel, Tony Harvin Network and um, Gino P. It's a blessing. You know, it's definitely a blessing. You know what I mean? Uh, from having no channels at one point to three. It's hard work, but, you know, it's definitely a blessing to um, try to help encourage the people and help push the message of the truth of God. It's definitely a blessing, all right? Appreciate that, Gino P. And classified information. He says, "Does anyone know how to get in touch with the TOG Sisterhood?" Hmm, that might be on the uh, could be on the True of God website, right? Henry Ross states that the apostle touched on everything uh, was hit, but the false prophets are going to think that they're the only ones get hit, but we all got hit. Absolutely. What's up to see it all? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. <clears throat> Hope all is well with you for sure. Um, hmm. He says, but America better see her uh, herself truly understand she's in plantation field and always has been. <clears throat> and she still is both parties. He says, how about the witch? Can we talk about the witch? I mean, you know, witches could be talked about, psychics and whatnot on, on the platforms like this. You know what I mean? It's a certain type of, I don't know, they got some type of policy on YouTube where it's though music, they can talk, they can say certain words, but if you have a platform, if you're a preacher, somebody, uh, Israelites, you know, stuff like that, you know, if you're on any type of platform that you're speaking like this, you got to watch your words. Whereas though a person in music, uh, it's okay, they can say it. They don't mean no harm, it's a part of their art, that's what they take it as. You know what I mean? All right, let's share the screen right quick. I want to share the screen uh, from today. All right, so this is uh, Gino Jennings. He was live, live from Richmond, Virginia today. 
You know, we talked about uh, the yesterday service and whatnot. And this is uh, did it March 24th, 2024 today, which aired around, which started around what, 12.30, 12.45 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time. It's going to play a little bit here and there, all right? So we're here with God word, with word to clean you up, rich men, rich yes. men, rich men. <laughs> we want to make you a rich man. <laughs> That's right. Amen. There's not a rich. A... That's right. Now I want to go to the part where he shed tears. I want to go to the part where he shed tears and whatnot. And uh, this is very interesting for sure. I believe it's around timestamp one hour. All right. Let me see a couple of more comments. He said, I got a whooping for listening to tip drill. <laughs> <laughs> tip drill nelly that song used to come on around what 12 o'clock at night on bt mm -mm -mm. bet on a saturday night then a sunday morning they want to play bobby jones and here it is i'm a teenager you understand you're playing tip drill 12 o'clock at night then you wake up and Bobby Jones is on the same channel. I, I didn't understand. You know what I mean? I didn't understand. I didn't understand. You know? But hey, you never know. Maybe them same women was in the congregation. You understand? Who knows? He laughed. He said, Starburst. <laughs> What's up, the AG? What up, what up, what up? What up to Cynthia Davenport? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, let me see. Um, he says, I did have an old YouTube when I used to be Orthodox Presbyterian and I wrote sermons out, but that was years ago. Mm. Wow. I'm going to check this part out right quick. Stand if they're threatening to bomb your church. Go ahead. The Bible said after they've done all two stands, stand, stand there for Stand there for Get this face up. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God's people Hallelujah. don't get a backbone, preach it, brother, you'll be nothing more. That's right. Than a church goer. That's right. That's right. Who will rise up? It's the me? only thing you got to offer God. <laughs> Just going to church. Yeah. Mm. You ain't doing nothing. Oh no. Wow. Now, this is a man who's passionate about the people. You understand? This is a man who's passionate about the people's souls and whatnot, even to the false prophets and trolls out there. You know what I mean? Really caring about uh, people's souls and whatnot. Passionate man, for sure. At the end of the day. And you know a lot of these uh, false prophets and their members and stuff like that. They're probably going to make their little videos and whatnot, making jokes like it's a game and like it's funny. You understand? All right. What's up to David B? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, He said, play old girl from last night. <laughs> play old girl from last night. Now, she funny. I don't know who funny that lady from last night or this, or this false prophet right here from L.C. Mathis Church. I don't know. Y'all tell me which is funny. That lady Bridget from last night or, or this clown right here from L.C. Mathis Church is minister. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, it's some clowns who are trolls, man. I'm telling you, these folks are clowns. You know what I mean? That's it. All right, let's go to more comments. Um, Who oh, I missed? Let's see, let's see. All right. You said demons be trying me just because I'm an introvert. Some demon was throwing shots at the gym saying indirectly I'm, I'm stuck up and I don't speak much or about myself. I just laughed so loudly and continued. Uh, wow. What's up the TNT? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Mm. Um, classified information stated that anything outside of biblical principle is witchcraft. 
ancestor worship supremacy uh what is that divination tarot cards crystal sage all that sage what is that that little thing that people get from the muslims outside that they put in the house that stuff stinks i'd rather for breeze or something you know what i mean some some linen spray you know what i mean some carpet cleaner vacuuming you put the powder down then you spray the the uh the linen spray and whatnot get the snuggles little air freshener around the house make sure it's nice and clean spick and span <laughs> you understand i don't know nothing about no sage i ain't uh -uh, that stuff stinks i don't understand how people could put that up in their house i i, I ain't never like that even when i was a kid never like that stuff all right um what's up to christoph jones shout out to you hope all is well what's up to Thelma Speck? you said uh gino uh disturbed a whole lot of a whole lot of peoples absolutely you know what i mean i definitely uh agree with you on that one all right you said why that lady has a veil on her face he says, is that woman in the audience wearing a veil or am I hallucinating? At least she, at least she's covered up literally. Okay, let me uh, go back because I don't know what Just you're going about. Rise up. Hallelujah. If God's people. Um, I didn't notice that, but hey, we don't know her situation. You know, we don't know her situation. It could be a medical condition or something like that at the end of the day. I mean, it's nothing against covering your face or whatever the case may be. Maybe it's a visitor. Who knows? You know, she could be a Muslim or under a different religion. And she could just be a visitor. I don't know. You understand? Could have a medical condition or maybe, I don't know, the thing dropped. I, I don't know. I, I just now noticing that. Man, y'all notice everything. Listen, the internet, they notice everything. Although I don't have no roaches in here at all, I bet you if a roach was crawling on the ceiling, y'all notice that. <laughs> the internet, man, they be on everything. What's that? What's that on his channel? What is that crumb? Is that a roach? The internet, listen, the internet notice everything. Yeah, they say the internet is undefeated. The internet always get defeated every day with the foolishness that they put up. You understand? I didn't even notice that woman had a veil on. Wow. Y'all good, man. Y'all good. <laughs> Y'all good. I, I wish People, Hallelujah. Then the church go on. Y'all are good. You know? <laughs> I didn't even do that um he says i don't know anything about sage mm. wow he says the lady uh dink sings in the choir she always totally covered oh awesome okay that's cool that's what's up you know classified information you says letting those letters go was one of the hardest things i ever i have ever done i was brainwashed into the pretty girl um better than mindset really <laughs> pretty girl what you mean like sitting on the porch and just admiring yourself i'm so pretty i'm pretty i don't want to sit next to nobody i'm so pretty i don't care i'm pretty i don't care about life i'm pretty she don't look better than me i'm pretty got a nice body you know, i'm pretty who cares just on the porch all day you know, you get dressed up and get all beautified just to sit on the porch. I see some girls do. They sit on the porch all day. You know, I, I, I could leave for work, come back, they're still there. You know what I mean? Is that the type? Of, is that the type of female you're talking about that you was? All day, go to the mall by themselves. Or a lot of them, they go to the mall with other women who are not desirable, and they know that. I'm pretty. I'm just. I'm just a pretty woman. Is that what you're talking about at classified information? All right. Oh, 
Oops. <laughs> he said sororities. I'm on something else. Forgive me, please. Sororities. Listen, I don't know nothing about that stuff. Sororities, I don't know nothing about. Uh, Sage. You know what I mean? So you got to forgive me. Because I don't understand that sorority talk, pretty girl. I think you're talking about that you was a pretty girl. Or whatever the case may be. Sororities. Mm. Pretty much interesting. All I know about sororities is um, in college and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? They break people in. They got to do the hazing and whatnot and stuff like that. And they, they do the stomping and what have you. That's all I know. I don't know the deeper depths to that type of stuff. So you got you got you got to school me a little bit uh, classified information because when you said pretty girl, I'm thinking that's what it, that's what I'm thinking you're talking about. Because I don't know nothing about no uh, fraternities, sororities, the deeper depths to it. I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, of course, a lot of us used to watch Stomp the Yard. You know what I mean? Stomp the Yard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you says you says the organization I was a part of. We were the pretty girls. Well, I, I don't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know they had a name out there like that. Like I said, I thought you was talking about like yourself. You know what I mean? All I know is stomp the yard, the datas, datas. <laughs> That's it. We rep the datas, datas. That's it. That's all I know is that. You know? All right. He said, good movie. What's up, um, Bricklayer? What up? I'm good. I'm just chilling. You know, we're just having a conversation about the message today and a couple of other things and whatnot. <laughs> For sure. All right. Um, Timothy Bright, he says, I put that sermon in my sermons playlist. Will he come back at 5 o'clock on the First Church channel? Well, usually they don't come on 5 o'clock on Sundays. You know, most likely they don't come on on five o'clock at five o'clock. Excuse me. You know, it's usually like if they out of town, like, you know, like they're in Virginia and whatnot, they usually come on just Saturdays and Sundays. And that's it. You know, when it's the end of the year, uh, Holy Convocation or something like that, it's usually like Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, be other preachers. Saturday, it'd be like half and half. Because I remember one time, I think it was a Saturday, right? And he 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 uh he asked Brother Dan to come speak, or he asked the preacher from um Raleigh um to speak, or different preachers to speak, you know. But I had only see one time when it came on at five o'clock or a few times, and I think that was during like you know the C19 type of uh when the C19 events was happening, and we all had to uh, mainly sometimes quarantine back then. All right, excuse me. Um, who I miss? Oh, we know that Johnny Robinson. We already know that already. We are aware of that, Mr. Robinson. You understand? We know that he, he spoke about it. I guess you took I guess you took my advice not to do that foolishness you did uh before, hanging up banners and whatnot. You know what I mean? We was talking about that the other night. All people got to do is just be respectful. Just go to a person. That's it. You know what I mean? So that's that's a, that's a good thing. I'm glad you humbled yourself, brother. I'm glad you did that. You understand? So um, you said you met with Gino in private. He spoke about it already. You know what I mean? To the public. So we already know. When he said Johnny Robinson, I'm thinking he was talking about this other preacher. Because there's another preacher similar to your name. The way he said it was Johnny Robinson. I know some people probably pronounce your name differently. But I thought he was talking about somebody else. So I was like, okay, Johnny Roberts, this one right here. That's cool. That's fine. It's all good. As long as you came respectfully, that's cool. You know? And... and you must know this that you yourself it's going to stir up other people now you're going to, now you're going to see what happens when these trolls come on here because they want that debate that you got that you got right now you understand <laughs> you're going to see 
you definitely going to see. You know what I mean? So I'll be looking forward to that biblical discussion. Johnny Robinson and Geno Jennings. That's all you had to do from the beginning, man. That's it. You ain't had to hold up no banners or anything like that, man. You know what I mean? So I'm glad, you know what I mean? You, I believe you took the advice. <laughs> you understand? I'm glad you took the advice and whatnot. I love to see biblical discussions and whatnot. Nah, don't don't get rid of uh, Johnny Robinson. He 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 he's all right right now. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's all right right now. He's he's cool right now. He's cool, you know, because Gino talked about him uh, today. He talked about him today. You know, he was respectful. And they had a, it had a decent conversation and whatnot. So I'll be looking forward to that biblical discussion, Mr. Robinson, and things like that. But do know that there's going to be a lot of other trolls that's going to be, you know, jealous of you because you got the debate. You got the discussion now. So be prepared. You understand? Be prepared. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, you say you're ready to usher him out. <laughs> I mean, Johnny Robinson, he never was like, he never was like disrespectful. He, he never was disrespectful. I give him that. You know, unlike these other trolls out here, they talk about your mother, your dead father, you know, your wife and all that. I give it to Mr. Robinson or Robinson, however you pronounce your last name. You know, so that'd be a good, that'd be a, a, a you know, a decent biblical discussion. You know what I mean? I would love to definitely uh to be there. I hope it's in Charlotte coming up. I hope it, I hope it's in Charlotte in July. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I'll be there with my laptop also broadcasting and watching at the same time. You know what I mean? For sure. But that's a good thing right there. Uh Johnny Robinson. <clears throat> Johnny Robinson mentioned that he and Gino Jennings agreed to a biblical discussion. Mm. That, that is that is something very uh, interesting for sure. Let's go back to this. All right. So we'll be looking forward to that biblical discussion with um, Mr. Robinson. You know, should be very interesting. I hope you're ready. I definitely hope you're ready because the Internet, the YouTube stuff, that's one thing, but when you're in front of the people and the camera lights and whatnot, you got to be on point. You understand? You definitely got to be on point <clears throat> at the end of the day uh, with a biblical discussion. You know, because some people, I disagree with this person, that person. And then when they have the biblical discussion, man, the heat is on. They start to get nervous. They start, uh, you know, fumbling, bumbling under their words. They got to bring notes. So we shall see, man. That should be very interesting, all right? Um, he says, what does Johnny Robinson uh, want to discuss Apostle about? Well, I, I don't know. That I don't know, but according to some of his videos, um, he has some disagreements with uh, Gino. So I guess whatever they come up with, whatever they decide to uh, discuss, you know what I mean? It should be a, a very interesting biblical uh, discussion. I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. You know what I mean? I don't have no hate for no trolls or anything like that. But if you come correct respectfully, you know, like I said days before, I said just come respectfully. You just never know. You might get the discussion. Simple. So it's a good thing that, you know, Mr. Johnny Robinson got the uh, discussion. You know what I mean? <laughs> But he's gonna stir up a lot of he's gonna stir up a lot of trolls because they wanted a discussion. He's gonna stir them up. All right. Um, let's go to some, let's go play this a little bit more. If I could find when you mention your name, I hopefully I can, Mr. Robinson. That's right. That's right. Who will rise up? It's the me? only thing you got to offer God. Just going to church. Yeah. Mm. You ain't doing nothing. Oh, no. 
you got to be willing to die. Preach it, preach it, preach it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Man, you said you got to be willing to die, preacher. That's deep right there, man. That's something deep right there. Mr. Robinson, do you feel the same way? Huh? If you're still in here. Pastor Johnny Robinson, do you feel the same way if you're still in here? Are you willing to die, preacher, Mr. Robinson? You know? It's, it's, it's okay to have a... um. An intellectual conversation, you know what I mean? All right, let me go to these comments right quick. He <laughs> said, Johnny, come lately. Classified says, talking about oneself in third person is weird. Mm. Really? Uh, Gino P says, going to church and noticing what people are wearing is crazy. We must be more ready uh, to hear than anything else. Hmm. They said, why are you talking in third person? <laughs> I, I ain't really even noticed that. Wow. Johnny Robinson. <laughs> Should be very interesting. Nicole Martin says, I won't get rid of get rid of him. I just don't trust him after that treacherous act he pulled on you with all those crazy YouTube videos about you. I don't play. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, you know? I mean, Mr. Robinson, which you made like 20 videos of me, man, I didn't know I was that important to you. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't want to mess up your focus with the discussion you're going to have with Gino. You know, you need to be in the gym with the scriptures, hitting the bags, doing some running. You know what I mean? Doing a speed bag, you know? Nah. You know, get your, get your working on them scriptures, man. Get focused. You know, get focused. Don't worry about trolls on here and whatnot, because that's how people lose their focus. Never mind me. I'm, I might make videos about you still. I don't know. But don't focus on me. <laughs> focus, man. You, you Now you got the opportunity for a biblical discussion. You got the opportunity to showcase what you've been talking about all this time. Before I was born, I think you, you had a disagreement with Gino. Way before I was born. You understand? Now you get your opportunity. You know what I mean? You, you, get, you know? This, this, is the, this, is, this is a championship right here. You waited all these years. <laughs> you understand? This is your time. This is your time. <laughs> all right? Um, Solomon, you says, my body was shaking when he was crying. Then I cried in less than 20 seconds. Oh. Wow. Definitely uh, understand you on that one. You know, I think it's another one that's like that uh, with uh, Steve. It's another one that's like that. That I'm about to play in a bit. You know. This is a this is another one right here. This is another one right here. I'm pretty sure um, some of us I heard heard. The Lord make His face shine make upon his thee. Face meaning His mercy be with you, and be gracious unto thee. Be favorable unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon thee. The Lord encourage you, and give thee peace. Hold it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I will say the Lord give thee what? The Lord give thee peace. This is this powerful. Absolutely powerful. Nicole, you said you blocked Mr. Robinson. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. Um, so let's um unblock Mr. Robinson. You know, so Mr. Robinson, if you're talking and I can't see, 
That's because one of the monitors have blocked you, and I'm going to unblock you. Okay, Mr. Robinson. We're going to unblock Mr. Johnny Robinson. I want to I want to hear what he got to say if he's still on here. All right. Um, let me see. I don't I don't see his name up here. I don't see Mr. Robinson uh as being blocked to um Nicole uh Martin. I don't see him up here at all. So um I'm not sure what you're referring to. What's up to Brandon Green? What up, what up, what up? <laughs> uh you funny at Jen, you funny. You funny for sure. David B says um he better have chapter and verse to back up his Trinity doctrine. Uh <clears throat> three. Mm. Adam says it was a beautiful sermon. Soon as he got emotional, I could feel the spirit as well and shed tears of love for show. Sure. Now I'm gonna try to find your comment, Mr. Johnny Robinson, so I can screenshot it in case I decide to talk about that. Um, because you mentioned it. All right. So you gotta be patient with me right now. If somebody could find it for me also and screenshot it and send it to me where Johnny Robinson stated that he had the private conversation with, uh, with, uh, Gino Jennings that they, they agreed to have a, um, biblical discussion all right um henry ross states that that's how you know this is serious when you see the apostle crying absolutely absolutely uh christmas fan says uh sometimes people come in here speaking what is that i don't know that word right there he says and i'm able to pick up on the lingo appreciate that at christopher span Definitely appreciate that for sure. You know what I mean? I don't see Mr. Johnny Robinson comments no more. Wow. So I have to go back on the video and screenshot it when I get finished. What's up? The um, what is that theme? Up? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up, the Ninny? Shout out to you too, Ninny. Uh, Priscilla. Hope all is well with you. I don't see you, uh, Mr. Johnny Robinson. If Mr. Robinson is on here, the link is up there, man. The link is there. You know, you don't have to show your face, man. I know some people are shy when they come on here. They don't want to show their face. Mr. Robinson, you know, we ain't going to have a debate. I just want to, you know, people want to, you know, rap with you for a little bit. Mr. Robinson, the link is there. Even if your son is on, Khalid, Kalau, Khalid, Kalo, I don't know how to pronounce his name. The link is in the chat room. You know, it ain't it ain't for other trolls neither. You understand? <laughs> it ain't for other trolls neither. He says, Tony, uh, that small clip you just played of Williams and PJ shook me, man. Wow. 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 Brandon states that didn't know the scriptures were so unused by the generation. Unused by the generation after mine. Mm. Wow. Uh, you said you blocked him for 24 hours. It's all good. You're forgiven. I'm going to have to hit up his son, Khalid, on Facebook. You know, so Mr. Robinson, if you're listening, you know, the link is in there. I can't see your comments and whatnot. Your name is not on my block list or whatever. Mr. Uh, Robinson, Henry Ross states that Robinson got no scriptures for his Trinity doctrine. This is just attention. Just trying to keep them false dollars uh, from his naive followers. You said sad. Gino P says that prayer and fasting message is so powerful. <clears throat> uh, 
Jonah says uh, Apostle Gino stands on business, though. Absolutely. Johnny Robinson. Johnny Robinson. Mm. I know he was happy. I know he was happy when he got that uh, agreement, if if it's true. I know it's, I know he's happy. I, I, would like, I would like to talk about that. You know what I mean? I, I just got to get a confirmation. I would like to get a confirmation from somebody in First Church to know that that is true. But who knows? It could have been somebody who made a fake name and used his picture. I didn't click on the picture to see if it was a YouTube, but people do that. So, you know, we'll see, and then we'll talk about it. You know what I mean? On here one day, if Johnny Robinson got to go to have the uh, biblical discussion with Geno Jennings. You know what I mean? And I, I hope it's in Charlotte, man. I really do. I hope it will be in Charlotte, for sure. Uh, he says, you know, the lowriders are on here watching uh, intently and then going to take sound bites for their whack four to five hour uh, trolling videos. Yep. <clears throat> I agree with you. You know what I mean? And that's what they do. That's what they do for sure. You know what I mean? It's, it's a sad thing that they do that. You know what I mean? But I definitely uh, agree with you that uh, they will do that. You know? All right. Um. right. Let's see more comments. He says he's definitely blocked. The next thing you know is he's going to make a YouTube about me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I missed a comment. Courtney M says, you're going to need a whole office of mods soon. Yeah, it might look like that for sure. You know, but I appreciate people for, you know, don't mind uh, moderating the channel. The idea came from the, um, you know, my first moderator, Georgina Flemings, to get moderators. I didn't want none on my other page. Excuse me, on my other YouTube, the primary one. But I thought about it, and you know, Georgina Flemings was one of the first moderators, the first one. You know what I mean? It was somebody else also. I forgot her name. Call me blessed or something like that. You know. And, you know, it's been building a little here, a little there. You know what I mean? You, you, you definitely got to have trustworthy people to moderate. Because some people, they, they are block a person based off of personal issues. You know what I mean? All right? We had one like that. And I had to let her go. We had one last year of October or something like that. We made this person a moderator on my primary YouTube channel, Tony Harbin. That one, not this one. I don't, I think I had this. I, I was kind of building this one up a little here, a little there. But I made her a moderator on my primary YouTube channel. And every day she was just talking about other people. Every day. Every day. Every day was an issue with this woman. Every day talking about people me i'm a person i don't talk about people behind their back i don't do that you know what i'm saying i don't i don't do that at all wanted tony harvin to let all the moderators go every last every last one of y'all want to let all the moderators go and guess what guess what i did you know what i mean i pulled the plug on her flatlined her get out of here you understand get out of here all right um you say you got a platoon of mods <laughs> for show sure. it's actually necessary to have mods in order to keep order bro absolutely i'm starting to see that for show sure. at classified information you said that's insane backbiting and gossiping is wrong absolutely you know even folks or well, this person is supposed to be a so-called christian and listen to the message you know what I mean? But me, I, I take that for my people, for sure. Definitely will. All right? Mm. 
Glory to God. Anybody can go to church. Anyone can go to church. Church has become a ritual. To go to church because it's the weekend and recite scriptures. But who's willing to really stand up for him? Stand up for him. Mm. Who's who's really ready to stand up for the Lord? You know, he's absolutely got a lot of points with that one. You know, some people go to church just because they want to look good. You know, they want to get dressed up every Sunday. You know what I mean? The dude want to hold his Bible and, you know, have his Armani suit. You know what I mean? Got his Versace cologne or his coach cologne on. Just because. He's absolutely right uh, about that. Uh, for sure. He said, usher her out. <laughs> Jen says, I see some thirsty people on here wanting to be mods. Bless their uh, aching hearts. He's funny, man. Come on, man. <laughs> You're trying to start some trouble, man. <laughs> you try, you, you, you're trying to ruffle some feathers. But it's all good. There's some good people on here, man, for sure, man. There's some good people. He says, I love Georgina. I miss her. I hope all is well. Well, I will say this. Let's just, you know, you know all... You know, send out prayers for uh, Georgina. I'm not gonna put a business out or whatever the case may be. Who knows? She could have got she could have got an inheritance. You know what I mean? She's probably taking a break, but I'm not gonna pull a business out here. But all I would say is just send up prayers. You know what I mean? Just in general, uh, for Georgina Flemings and whatnot. All right, in Craig G Cell, Craig G Cell too. You know. So I don't, I don't, I don't forget my people. All right, Priscilla says that clip of Wayne crying. Excuse me, William crying. My husband died. Listen to that clip. He had cancer. We were praising God, and he died in 2021. Wow. That clip I found. I found on uh, YouTube. I found the clip. Let's go back to it. Let's go to it right quick. So this clip. It's listed at 43 minutes and 46 seconds, so it was broken down in parts. So I remember the day that I think it was like, I don't know, maybe 14 parts that the person had on the YouTube channel. And I wanted it all together, so I had to really place every part together to make sure it sounds like a, a regular clip. I put everything together. You know what I mean? Make sure the uh, the audio didn't sound messed up or anything. It just sounded like one whole video. But this video right here, I had to I had to put like 14 parts together. You know what I mean? Taking my time each one, part one with part two. So when part one connect to part two, it just could sound like one whole one on point. Then now I got to connect that to part three. Then connect that, all those three, to part four. And that took a, it took it takes some time to do stuff like that, you know what I mean. But for the people, and it came out, you know what I mean, uh, crisp and sharp. All right, so appreciate that for you uh, tuning in uh, to that video for sure. That's 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 a powerful video, you know. All right, Jonah says I'm always down if you need another mod. Would be a pleasure to serve. If not, it's all love, Jonah. Jonah. And I'm always looking at people for sure. I'm always looking and whatnot. So, Mr. Jonah, email me, Tony Harvin at yahoo.com or Facebook, Tony Fast Hands Harvin. You know what I mean? We could chop it up uh, about that. You know what I mean? We could definitely chop it up. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Four Corners says, I remember watching um, that video. That really was a powerful video. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cell Express, what up? He says, that video is what I used for Fasting Days and Elder Dan Thompson. Hmm. Powerful. Powerful. Sister Davis says, uh, we love and miss Sister Georgina, bro Craig. Um, simple faith. He's blessing. Well, it's a good thing to have people who who not even in the truth of God still come on to tune in. 
So Simple Faith and Hayes Blessings, uh, you know, they got their own preacher and stuff like that, who they under. But they still come on and tune in, which is a great thing. Hayes Blessing, shout out to Chicago, shot town. You know, he does work with the youth out there. You know what I mean? Hayes, uh, Hayes Blessings, you know, and we know how Chicago is out there. I mean, it's like a murder every day on an average. And you got the man out there talking with the youth and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So shout out to Hayes Blessing. I even thought about going out there. You know what I mean? Just, you know, attending it, kicking back, watching him doing his thing and whatnot, seeing how it is out there in Chicago. You know? That'd be, that'd be um, a wonderful area. I think Gino went there one time. I'm not, I'm not uh, sure too much about that. What's up to S. Carter? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Hope all is well with you at uh, S. Carter. I'm not talking about talking a good game. No, no. That don't mean nothing. No. Hallelujah. 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 Bonus thereof. Amen. He declared, preach the word. Preach the word. Be, and then he said, be, be instant. instant. In season. That means be consistent. That's right. In season and out of season. Out of season. Be consistent. That's it. Wonderful. They say if you were the preacher, you wouldn't say that word. Who said so? Who said, who said I'm that? telling you what I'm not. That's right. That's right. God said, let us make man in our image. I wasn't made in the image of a... Go ahead, man. Am I right, I said? <laughs> oh, man. So in case y'all didn't catch that raw footage... On the uh, the True of God channel, you can check that out around that timestamp. You know what I mean? Of uh, him saying, you know, the N word and the the F word and, and whatnot. He says, "I ain't no ninja." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he was on point, man, for sure. Appreciate that, uh, uh, Sister Davis. What's up? The uh, what is that? Pilu. We said, is there a, a live now from the uh, afternoon service? Well, to my knowledge, no. You know, usually they don't uh, broadcast um, the five the five p.m. service and whatnot. You know, we I broadcast and they broadcast. Uh, firstly, um, the one p.m. service it started around twelve thirty or twelve forty five uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know what I mean? So I don't know where you at a part of the. Uh, in, in this world or whatever the case may be uh based on your time zone but over here right now is 5 43 p.m so it started around five hours ago you know and uh we broadcasted it um and whatnot and in the five o'clock i highly doubt it highly high, highly doubt it he says tony harvin bleep that out absolutely <laughs> oh yeah you know what i mean yeah, because I got flagged, I got flagged before for you know certain things on my channel, my my primary YouTube channel. I got flagged. That was one of the reasons uh, why my channel got put down because you know you got some trolls on here who will who will report it. They'll report it. They'll send it to. They'll they'll report it on YouTube. Listen, such and such said just at this time, it goes against your policy, and they got a human that look at it or a computerized system to, to detect that. You got a lot of trolls out here that report things and what have you. All right. He says, work tomorrow, not very exciting, but got to be done. Absolutely. <clears throat> Classified information says, right after the live this morning, a video play of PJ singing the church robbery song. I was hollering. <laughs> the church robbery song. Oh, man, that's funny. This list, this is a classic. You can't, you can't, you cannot get tired of classic uh, videos, classic videos like that, for sure. And I'm trying to find it right now. All right, let's see if we could, let's see if we could find it. I think this is it right here. Holding this message. Shout out to him. Let's play it right now. All right. 
So this is from a uh, holiness message YouTube channel. Shout out to this person. I'm the liar. Right. I'm going to be robbed today. Robbed today. Going to be robbed in church today. Freak, you're going to duke me like you did last week. Yeah, going to be robbed today. Yeah, robbed today. Robbed today. Going to get duped by the preacher today. Going to go to hell when he's down with me. Oh, going to be robbed today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a classic right there for sure. That is a classic. You know what I mean? What, what other classics y'all know about for sure? S. Carter says, I can't express how happy I am to have come across this channel. Wonderful. Thank you for, uh, you know, tuning into these videos and whatnot. It's a great blessing. As you feel that way, I also feel the same way of you tuning into the channels um, that I have. You know what I mean? My primary YouTube channel. Well, we got, you know, the True of God videos, more so topics and lives uh, of the True of God on Sundays. And we got Tony Harvin TV, which is though is the, you know, the True of God videos, but more so broadcast numbers. You know what I mean? So that's how I, you know, justify those channels and whatnot. And this channel is more so my commentary and what have you. You know, we talk about a lot of topics, mainly, you know, the True of God and whatnot. You know what I mean? We try to keep it. And hope to keep it clean you know what i'm saying and not detour to talk about foolishness and nonsense you know what i mean we have good good laughs good clean laughs <laughs> we had good clean laughs uh and whatnot listen a lot of people a lot of people can't have clean laughs a lot of people don't have a clean platform and can laugh and have you know a good time and what have you and not going overboard talking about a bunch of nonsense all day you know what i mean so it's it's, it's a blessing uh for you coming across this channel and tuning in definitely appreciate you uh for sure you know what i mean um you says and yet these uh, uh, can run around with hardly anything on and say the most outlandish things and you get terminated the devil is whack yeah that's how it works you know what I mean? That's how it works on here. For sure. You know, it sucks. It, it really sucks. He said, there's another one song, Let the Church Say Amen. I think I had that up. Do I have that up? Let the Church Say Amen? I think I do. Let me let me see if I can find that right now. Let Let the Church Say Amen. Let the church say amen. Let me see if I can find that one right quick. And we can tune into that. Um, this is from First Church, Truth of God Praise. Um, now I don't know if they have any type of copyrights on that one. All right, let's go to this channel right here. Let me, I thought I, I thought I had it up, but I don't, unfortunately. Please forgive me about that one, you know. But I, I got to be careful with certain channels and what have you. A lot of them try to be slick and, you know, put governmental copyrights on their videos because it got some type of music in it. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Henry Ross says, I hope uh robertson was listening to that song because he's robbing his followers from going back with god wow <laughs> pilu says it's the right teaching for the right time now amen uh. he says he ought to make that a single rob today i'll buy it for sure you know there's, there's some people out there that got you know geno jennings sayings in their songs there's some people out there you know what I mean? I think it was a, it was a song on uh, SoundCloud. Was it SoundCloud? I think I think it was SoundCloud. You know, and I just ran it. I was just trying to randomly browse just to see if is there any type of Geno Genesis on here because maybe I want to put something on um, SoundCloud and whatnot. So let me. I'm checking it out right now. I'm trying to find the person um who who has it 
All right. Okay, let me li- I'm gonna listen to it right now, but so I'm gonna share the screen right quick. <clears throat> let me play this one. Uh, let me play this one right quick. Yep. So let's get the screen right quick. So this is SoundCloud, right? So you got two artists that I came across. I'm not gonna play the music because of the copyrights and stuff like that, you know. So um on the SoundCloud, it was, it's a website, you know, that has music, City Boy Fresh Productions. So I guess he's freestyling over a beat. And then in his uh, chorus, he got Gino talking and whatnot. So a lot of these people, they do that and they're copyrighted and what have you, you know? And then you got another artist, uh, the 100 Kings, the 100 Queens, uh, DJ Stevie T. So they use a sample from the uh, the Vegas, the beat and what have you, you know what I mean? So you got, you got a lot of music artists you got another one uh free joe billy i records you got another one you got another one named uh reggie brown <laughs> you know another one all right so you have a few people that's out there that that, that uses certain terms he say in their music songs and what have you and then copyright it you know all right um let's see classified information says we know what that wolfie again do need the link are you ready to step up to the mix today (laughs) oh man are you ready to step up to the mix today jen ju says i miss the people that used to come for debates like peter cox his blessings he says (laughs) He says, Baptiste, not so much. Mr. Ham, Wayne Smith, Khalid, etc. Dunking it out with scriptures. <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, for sure. Peter Cox. His blessings. I mean, they're going at it. They're still debating. They're on other channels now. They're still, they're still going at it with, with the debating type of thing, but they just doing it elsewhere. You know what I mean? They doing it elsewhere. But mainly, I, I got to focus on the truth of God and whatnot on that channel. And I got to focus on what I'm doing. Not saying that I won't ever have a biblical discussion. Now, if Mr. Johnny Robinson is valid into what he's talking about, then, you know, I might, I might, you know, ask to make that a part of one of my episodes of biblical discussions. If it's valid, then I I would love to ask them. You know what I mean? Could I make it a part of my episodes and whatnot? It'd be a good, it'd be a thing if I could if I could host it too. <laughs> it'd be a thing if I could host that biblical discussion. You know, that'd be something right there for sure. That would be something. All right. Um, let me see if I missed anybody. He says, I would love to see him debate my former prosperity pastor. Wow. Wow. For sure. I wasn't made in the image of a supreme cracker. That's right. I was made in the image of the supreme God. Supreme God. Man made nigga. Yeah. Man made. Oh, yeah. Man made. Ch- Man made. Sp- Right. Spicks. God ain't made that. God made man. Amen. Go ahead. Man. Oh man, Gino. <laughs> man. Trying to get me booted off the waves, man. <laughs> man, I had to try to catch that quick. You understand? <laughs> wow. What's up to uh Ernest Beard? What up, what up, what up? <laughs> Listen, I caught enough. I caught enough of it for sure. I 
caught enough. I caught just enough. All right? He said, uh, did PJ say the N-word? Yes. In the original video, yes. You know what I mean? I had I had to get my button, I had to get my hands working on that mute button right fast. You know, especially with the N-word and the F word that rhymes with rag, because I know how the YouTubers are. So any other word after that is fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said, come up for Tony for show. For show, for show. Um, let me see. Um, I said what's up to Ernest Beard. Shout out to you. Hope all is well at Ernest Beard. <clears throat> um, the wolf. I gotta I gotta block you, man, because you've been disrespectful, and I don't like disrespectful people. All right? We we said it's okay for trolls to come on here and say what they say, but when you take it to a, a, a different level, you got to get put in time out. You understand? Because I know for a fact you wouldn't say that uh to her face in front of her husband. It might be night night for you. You know what I mean? So why would you be disrespectful over the internet if you ain't got the heart and courage to say it to somebody's face in front of their husband? You know what I mean? So you 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 had to be put in time out. I know you wouldn't dare to say that to a woman while her husband's standing there. You understand that? You might not, you might wake up with no teeth, no teethuses. You know, like I said before, the internet is a is a is a is a place for a lot of these lames out here and you can't unlame a lame that's the that's the crazy part right there you cannot unlame a lame because that's what they are that's what they're going to be and a lot of times they're going to die that way a lame that's it anytime a man comes on the internet and say oh disrespectful things to a woman Guarantee you, he won't say it to a woman's face while her husband is right there. Guarantee you. You understand? Guarantee you for sure. So Mr. Woofy was put in time out. He says the Woof, I'm not trying to block you. I mean, you could block him. You could block that person. He already said something disrespectful. So you could block him. You could block him because when you call a woman a concubine, that's making it seem like the husband got more women out there and she's just a side chick. You understand? And when you be disrespectful like that, you try, you're trying to speak in like Bible terms and whatnot. That's not going to work here, man. Have some respect. Have a conversation. You know what I mean? Get up out of here. You know, <clears throat> he says, uh, pull up the Holy Church. It's too funny how they try to sound like Gino, but hating on him at the same time. It's like the twilight. It's like uh, the twilight zoning. Mm. <clears throat> Absolutely. And this goes for all of all the trolls out there. You know, Gino's going to be in Charlotte in July. Let's just say a troll is out there disrespecting the woman, and I'm right there. It may be a single sister, or maybe a sister whose husband ain't around. Huh. <laughs> Have mercy on you. You understand? Because I believe a man should take up for a woman. You know what I mean? Because you never know. Some women go shopping and whatnot by themselves. And then you got creeps out there. Or it was a situation that happened in New York, right? I'm pretty sure some of y'all heard about it. I'm in Food Lion. This woman cashier started to talk to me about it, man. I'm like, I'm just trying to get something to eat. That's it. But, you know, I heard it out. Talked about the uh, situation in New York. Where's though? was these two twins. Beautiful young girls. Beautiful. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? And one of the, a guy tried to talk to them. How your man trying to talk to two women at the same time, man? Or he probably tried to talk to one. They declined him. He got upset. 
and start stabbing him. You understand? He got upset. A coward. Cowards. You got fellas out there that are just pure cowards. You got cowards like the wolf. You got cowards like him. Cowards. You know what I mean? They, 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 they take things out on a woman. Try that with a man who can really throw down. You know what I mean? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you, you're going to have to think about that. Well, well, uh, wow. Um, <sighs> you understand? A lot, of, a lot of men like that, like the wolf. He ain't going to do that. You understand? He ain't going to do that. So, listen, people in holiness, a lot, a, lot, a lot of them take up for themselves, man. Some people still working on themselves in that department. So if you, come, if you ever come disrespect the system and whatnot, you know what I mean? And I'm right there. I'm, I'm going to get on your heels, man. I'm going to talk to you like a real man. Simple as that. You know? That's just me, that big brother. Who disrespected you? Where you at? You understand? <laughs> Who disrespected you? I'm that big brother, that little brother that loved to fight. Physically, of course, we don't condone the violence and stuff like that, but I'm just that type of person. I take up for my people. Where they at? Who bothering you? You understand? <laughs> Who bothering you? Let, let me at it. Let me have it. You understand? Let them run up to, to somebody that know how to throw down and love it and know how to do it well in all angles. How dare you disrespect a woman and you a man? Do you do that to your wife? Do you do that to your mother? How would you like if somebody called if somebody called your mother that outside in person? Some of these fellas on here need to grow up. A lot of them need to grow up. They come on here in their 50s, 60s, acting like a little child. You understand? Boy, you get the business, man. You better get out of here with that. You understand? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. He says, you know who the best at that? He says, Elder, he says, Elder Kendrick Murray. Kendrick Murray. <laughs> Kendrick Murray. Wow. He says, I'm trying so hard to stay away from chips and dips. Hmm. He says, most of these nerds only find their courage behind a keyboard, but when you catch them in real time, absolutely. And it's not a, a you know, a being tough thing and stuff like that. Is you know, respect people, man. Respect people. If you were, quote, unquote, supposed to be a Christian and whatnot, even if you wasn't, it's the morals and the values out here. If you know you wouldn't go up to a woman outside and disrespect them while their husband is there, while their brother is there, while their uncle is there, or cousin is there, why would you do it over the internet? Think about it. You know what I mean? Think about it. <clears throat> you understand? He says, hey, man, we tolerate no coward men disrespecting sisters. But at the same uh, time, real ladies don't disrespect men. We need to love and respect one another. Absolutely. Um, classified information. So that's why uh, as sisters, we need to keep something on us at all times. <laughs> Stay prayed up. <laughs> <laughs> keep something on you at all times. Man, some ladies are packing. Pepper spray, taser, a lighter. A switchblade, a razor blade, a Glock 22, a 45, a Glock 19, a Glock 17. You know, they carrying. <clears throat> they definitely carrying. You know what I mean? A Glock 45. You know, a sawed off. One of them little uh, pink handguns that they could fit in a purse, in a pocket. 
you know all right um <laughs> He said, I got time and it's on site. He said, disrespectful and childish. Not that right. So I didn't I didn't uh, hear Tony Second block the wolf. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can block him. He says, do you know what month is Pastor Jennings coming to Washington State? Can you find out? Um, all right, we could check out the schedule right now together. You know what I mean? We could, you know, see um which day he's coming <clears throat> so usually let me check it out right quick all schedules washington um let's see april april 20th new york march 18th through the 24th or somewhere else uh, let me see right quick i'm trying to find a calendar what happened to the calendar? Beg your pardon. Locations. Let me see. All right. Uh, let me go back twice. Events. U.S. schedules. I don't. I don't know. I, they used to have a calendar up here. Can't find it. I can't find a calendar that used to be up here and whatnot. So please forgive me. So I don't know what happened to the calendar. Hmm. Yeah, it used to be a calendar up here. I can't, I don't know where it's at. Let me see. Master calendar. Master calendar. Let me see if that's it. Is this it? Mm, it's not the one I'm looking for. Let me see. This is the one. All right, here we go. So this is the one I was looking for. All right. <clears throat> I don't do I see Washington? Do you see Washington State? I don't see it up there. I see um I see Harlem, April, Pine Bush, New York, April, Pittsburgh, April, Memphis, Tennessee, and May, Columbia, South Carolina, May, Denver, Colorado, June, Canada, June 14th. That's for all the false prophets up there. Um, June, Oklahoma. July, Indianapolis, July 25th, Charlotte, August, the UK, August, Africa, August, Africa. I don't see Washington State on here. I don't I don't see Washington State at um the Cole Martin. You know? All right. As we uh check that out. He said, is Mace considered a weapon? Mace. I would consider Mason, uh, you know, Mason pepper spray a weapon, you know, but some people have Mason pepper spray because, you know, you got wildlife, you're close to wildlife, you know, coyotes jump out, foxes jump out, possums, raccoons, and what have you, you're going to work or you're taking out the trash and a possum just pop out and a lot of y'all almost probably caught a heart attack off of that. You know, so some people, you know, have mace and pepper spray. He says, anytime I think of any, anytime I think to carry protection, I hear Gino a voice in my head saying, "We don't carry guns and knives and switchblades," and I just can't. Christoph Jones. <laughs> he says, "Whoops, sounding like do well." <laughs> he said, "He probably is do well." <laughs> That's funny. He says the well will be well the well be lost off the sauce. Absolutely. Drinking that henny. For sure. Um, he says uh pepper spray is for two and four-legged animals. Mm. He says those big dogs jump out, mace will slow them down, and stick will slow him down. Mm. He says the most dangerous predator is the two-legged human. Huh. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> two-legged humans and what have you. He says, somebody run up. I'm going to put my fast hands beating 
and look at him. <laughs> the beanie, we still working on the uh, the apparel. I didn't know it was it took. I didn't know it was this complicated as far as like getting apparel drawn up and stuff like that. Because me, I'm looking for, I'm looking for good quality stuff. I don't want to put clothing out here and you know what I mean. Stuff come off or the material feels thin. I want people to feel comfortable. You understand? And you know the way how I design the clothes, the clothes on the graphics and whatnot. It's hard to find a, distrib a distributor to do that, but we're still working on it. You know what I mean? Even if I got to learn how to sew, uh, you know, I want I would want my apparel the way I designed it. You know what I mean? So we're still working on it. It's very complicated because I want it the way I want it, and not many people create that that that, that excuse me that type of stuff. All right. All right, we're coming to a conclusion. We're coming to a conclusion. So if anybody got any last remarks, closing remarks, let me know for sure. Um, shout out to everybody out there. You know who tuned into this live and what have you. It's definitely a blessing. And the message was definitely powerful and great. You know what I mean? He says, I want my hoodie now. <laughs> I'm working on it, man. It's tough. It's tough. The way I want it is tough for sure. It's definitely tough. He says, let me get that hat. Now, the hat I could give to you. The hat I could do. You know what I mean? I got to try to find a way how to put the hats up. These type of hats. You know what I mean? For sure. The hat I could do. Um, he says you can get a press. Well, me personally, I don't. I don't have time for that. You know what I mean for doing all that other stuff. I'd rather have somebody to do it for me. You know, I, I don't want to make myself more busy than I need to be. So I would just rather have somebody to do it for me. It's a couple of people out there that you know have potential. You know, all right. He said, is it holy or nah? <laughs> You're welcome at uh, Mary. What's up to David B? He says, on the tip of the strings, make sure it says fast hands. Mm. Listen, that's a good one. That's a good one. Appreciate that at Jonah. Appreciate that. He says, wonderful time, TOG family. Nothing better than uh, to be on the way of holiness. Absolutely. Definitely agree with you on that one. All right, we're going to wrap it up. God bless to everybody out there. I hope everybody have a wonderful evening. I know tomorrow's the top of the week as far as like work, you know. So we got to enjoy these last couple of hours before we hit the bed and get up for work uh, and whatnot. No problem at Nicole Martin. Gino P says PJ uh, continues to separate himself from all other preachers. He loves us for real. Um, Sister David says, Have a blessed day driving. Appreciate that. Henry Ross, he says, Uh, good blessings for all in theirs. Uh, he says, Be he said, Peace be and uh, God bless or G1. Latanya, shout out to you. Sheila Davis, shout out to you for sure. No problem at heat. God bless everybody out there. As I sign off, I'm Tony Harvin and Lord willing, we'll be back with more videos tomorrow. All right. Peace. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to the Tony Harvin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here. After you hit the subscribe button, if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell.